hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is all about moisture yes moisture so it's very important that your hair your strands are very moisturized and in order to do that you need products that are going to help you retain that moisture one of my favorites are of course my Jamaican black castor oil from Tropic Isles so I'll be using that today to show you my updated routine as far as my wash and goes are concerned so typically for my wash and goes all I do is use three simple things one being some leave-in conditioner two being my Jamaican black castor oil and three being a jelly or some kind of um, cream that's going to help your curls clump, be more defined, have moisture, and on top of that, stay in place. As far as the leave-in conditioner, I typically use any kind of leave-in that you know I feel like using so it doesn't have to be anything specific as far as the second product like I said it's the Jamaican black castor oil and specifically this is the coconut one I like using this it's for all purposes so you definitely can see that on the bottle it says multi-purpose but you can use this in your hair you can use it for your skin so I typically section my hair and then I apply some of the castor oil first after putting on a leave-in and I just massage it in and make sure that I have enough of the product in each section now finally for my um, last product I am using, I never used this product before, well I've used it before but I haven't used it in a while to do my wash and goes, but this is the Miss Jessie's um, Jelly Soft Curls. So I wanted to revisit this and see how this is going to do. It is a jelly product so it's not going to make my hair feel crunchy or have that white flaking, but it is going to give it that hold that it needs. So enough talking, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. You can see that my hair is freshly washed, now it is not damp. I let it air dry. I wasn't planning on doing that. I was going to do it this time on wet hair, but typically when I do my wash and goes, I do it on dry hair. So it doesn't hurt that it is a little bit wet and I don't plan on wetting it again. So now that I have a small section, I'm just going to first add the Jamaican black casserole since I've already added my leave-in conditioner. So I'm just going to pour a little bit. So now that I have my first section already with the castor oil, I'm going to separate it into two smaller sections. Alright, so now I am going to add my, um, you know, jelly. So this is the Miss Jessie's product. And I got this at my um, local Sally Beauty, but you can also find this at your local beauty, supp beauty supply store. applied it all over to my hair you can kind of see um, that the curls are trying to dry I'm shaking my head so they can like kind of clump into place as I'm shaking them it looks super defined so I can't wait to see the final results all right so now in the meantime what I'm going to do is get my Eagle Styler gel and slick up the sides so I can have a sleek finish So now I'm just going to grab some of my favorite gel and I'm going to do the same thing and just go all over um, my hairline and the back of my hair with the gel. I am going to use my afro pick to create some volume. And 
there you have it this is my final look I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I definitely will make sure to put all of the info for all the products I used in the description box but until next time guys see ya